that side boob. Let me scooch up. Keep this channel Christian. Hi guys, my hair looks a little bit wet because I just got out of the shower because your girl likes to stay fresh and clean. Anyways, this is going to be story time, something that I haven't done in a really long time because you know your girl has been busy with work. I've been making that dough. Also, I'm going to be eating cotton candy throughout this because I'm hungry and it's 12 in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten breakfast so Oh my lord, where do I even begin with this? First of all, I just want to say that I would have the receipts, you know, the text messages and all that from this guy that I met off of OkCupid that I went on a date with, the guy we're about to talk about in this story time. I would have his text messages, but I already deleted them. I know, sad. It's been some time since, since this happened, maybe like I don't know, six months ago. Listen, I already deleted him off of my phone six months ago, so I don't have any proof or text messages of this. Not that there's much to show. Let's get on with the story time. So listen, I'm human, I'm lonely, and I sometimes need to get dick down. So what I did was I joined OkCupid, which is a dating website. You know, I don't want to get near Tinder because Tinder is where everyone goes to have sex, which is fine, but it's like nobody is serious on Tinder. So, or at least I don't think anyone is serious on Tinder. Although my friend did find her very serious boyfriend off of Tinder, but that's not my point. My point is that nobody on Tinder is serious. So I went to OkCupid, which is my first and only dating site that I've ever joined. So I'm using OkCupid and bam, I see this cute guy on there. I saw his profile picture and I immediately was like, oh, like, yes, he is so hot. So. It was a nice white guy, you know, your girl likes white guys. So I see him and not only that, but he's also covered in like tattoos. Like he has sleeves and he's covered in tattoos, which I really liked. I don't even think I read his profile. I think I'm just so attracted to tattoos that I pretty much just clicked on his profile picture and sent him a message right away. And I'm pretty sure my first message was, hey, I really love your tattoos, something like that. You're, you're cute, whatever. He hits me back up and we get to talking like just the normal hey how are you nice to meet you what do you do for a living uh, what are you into your hobbies whatever you know getting to know each other off of the app I don't even think we waited a week I think like after like five days of knowing each other I think we met up should we make up a name for him I think we should make up a name for him we're going to call this guy Ian that's not his real name but nothing good comes out of dating Ian's either so I'm getting to know Ian I think he was the one that wanted to meet up this is the part where he's trying to like excite me for this date he's just like oh you know we should meet up I'm in the Navy I get paid good he was just like oh I'm gonna take you somewhere so fancy so nice make sure to look really nice I'm all hyped up you know when a man is like I'm going to bring you flowers I'm gonna take you somewhere nice he promised a nice dinner. So I was hyped up and I was happy. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like the sixth night where we meet up. He never told me where he's taking me. All he promised was like a very nice dinner. The morning that we're supposed to meet up, I text him and then I'm just like, so Ian, where are we going? Is it a surprise or are you going to tell me where we're going? He literally types me like something like lol IDK. I didn't think of anything. XD. You know how back in middle school, if you were emo, especially, you would use like XD as like a laughing emoji. Yeah, he fucking used XD on me. So he's like, I don't know where I'm taking you. I never thought of anything. So I'm like... So he's telling me to pick a place. And bitch, I've been poor all my life. I don't know any good restaurants. So I'm like, I don't know where to go. So I picked Seaport Village, which is here in San Diego. It's like a tourist area. So it's right by the bay side. And if you walk across the bay, obviously you see the ocean and then there's a bunch of restaurants on the side, but we didn't go into any of the restaurants. Yeah, spoiler, we don't even eat at all. So all of this text messaging and all the messy like plans that we planned out that morning. <laughs> Can I even English? Yeah, so all of that, happen in the morning so we're like cool we're going to meet up at like seven yeah i think it was seven because i always go on dates no later than seven um 
I'm talking as if I get a lot of dates. So I'm like, let's meet up at like 7 or 7.30 at Seaport Village at around 6 p.m. Like one hour before we're about to meet up. He's like, I can't make 7. Can we move it to 9? And see, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Do I really want to be a girl alone, like near the bay where nobody is at 9 p.m. with some guy that I don't know? Yes. So I go. So it's 10 p.m. I get to know him. If you talk to him online, he's like, he seems friendly, which he was, but in person, he seems really like irresponsible and stupid. And we're getting to talking and he's like, oh, I had to break my friend out of like prison or something. I, not even prison. I'm over exaggerating that. Like his friend got in trouble with some sort of authoritative figure and he had to go like bust out his friend, but I don't think it was prison. I think his friend was like being held or something. I don't know. So he's talking about the Navy. He doesn't ask about me and that's a pet peeve that I have on every single date that I go on. Nobody ever asks about me. So he's talking all about the Navy and he's talking about how he makes money and how he has his own apartment because the Navy like pays him good. But that's all he wants to talk about after a while i kind of like want to like go home and this is like after like 20 minutes of talking to him and walking right by the bay so i'm getting bored i'm like whatever whatever and then he finally spills he's like hey so by the way i'm low-key an alcoholic and i wouldn't mind drinking right now now he's talking about his alcohol problem like after 20 minutes of meeting him he never mentioned this online so he wants to find alcohol bitch he fucking walked me 20 minutes to get alcohol at a 7-eleven that's where he fucking took me for our date i took us to seaport village and like we didn't even stay there for 20 minutes he wants to go find alcohol so we go to 7-Eleven, we walk all this way to 7-Eleven, and he tries to act all like, I guess smooth in a way. He's just like, by the way, you can buy whatever you want in here. I'll buy you whatever you choose, whatever. And I'm just like, you promised me something nice. And then it's like, now he's telling me that he's so broke that he couldn't take me to a dinner, to like a nice dinner. So so he wants to buy me something at like 7-Eleven to like make up for it, which that, that doesn't compare. And I know it, it's 2019, like I could have paid for our nice meal and whatever, but he's the one who was like, I'm in the Navy, I have money. So I'm like, sweet, if you wanna buy me lunch, buy me lunch. So while we're at 7-Eleven, he's looking at the alcohol, which he can't get because it's already past 10 p.m. and they already closed like the alcohol section at 10 p.m. He buys me a fucking donut and then not only that, but he takes a bite out of the donut and then gives it to me. It was just so like annoying and like, I felt like my worth as like a potential like date and a potential wife <laughs> cuz you know we're all dating to someday get married at least that's my goal in the dating world you date and then you upgrade to like wife it's like if you want to date me and make me your wife someday like 10 years from now just someday do you really want to take me to 7-eleven buy me a donut bite the donut and then give it to me and that's it just call call it a night i'm telling this guy like hey i'm tired i kind of want to go home he's like yeah it's like midnight honestly we were together for like two hours this motherfucker took me to 7-eleven bought me a motherfucking donut bit the fucking donut and gave it to me like what the fuck i just get so angry your girl gets so angry because it's like, is that all I'm worth? Am I worth a donut? The saddest part about this story is that this isn't the worst date I've been on. I've had worse, worse, worse. And I'm going to get to that. So this all happened around like January or February. By the time I'm recording this, it's June. So six months ago. So about one month ago, he messaged me. Somewhere around April, actually, he messaged me. And he's like, hey, just want to know how you're doing. Bitch, he was nice, but the problem was that he was stupid. He wasn't thinking about what he was saying to me, and he wasn't thinking about his actions. Like, he thought 
the whole night went fine and the fact that he messaged me over a month ago and was like hey just want to see how you're doing it kind of like shows that he doesn't like it didn't process through his head that i wasn't having a good fucking time to all my male friends out there please do not hype up a date an expensive nice date if you're not actually gonna do it don't go to the date and only talk about yourself don't fucking take us to 7-eleven and here's the thing 7-eleven can totally be a date if you and your date like planned it out though if you guys are like ha you know for a date we should go to 7-eleven like see that would be cute but don't fucking hype me up for something else and something nicer and then take me to 7-eleven like you know what i'm saying so anyways i never responded to him please sympathize with me in the comments please put yourself in my shoes i'm going to let you guys go thank you so much for watching this video please like this video it lets me know that you do like these story time videos and please subscribe to my channel to hear more story time videos thanks so much for watching bye bye